All right, everybody, how's it going? So today I'm going to do the Ranger, the last class in the list of classes for Sword Coast Legends. This is the one that I'm currently playing around with as a Ranger. I do like pretty much all the classes in some way or fashion, but it's the one I've been playing with with my um, standard party that we play around with. This one's going to be built a lot like the one that I designed my own with. I'm going to use a Half Elf and a Pirate background. I like the extra resistance to, to the thunder and lightning, and I also like the extra dexterity. I also love the half elves because you get that extra charisma, which if you've noticed in my builds, I enjoy using charisma because I'm greedy and I like to have as much gold as possible when I'm selling and buying things. And also they get plus two points, they're immune to sleep, and they get an additional two skill points. So I really enjoy the half elves. Um, I've been missing some half elf love because I used to play a lot of third edition and they weren't really the, uh, the best class or a race to choose so I'm glad to see some half elf love in Sword Coast and 5th edition as well so I'm going to throw myself in here everyone knows that whether you're close combat or not the rangers are insane um, in the fact that they can be really great ranged combatants ranged combatants or close line combatants and all they have to use is dexterity so 18 dexterity um we're going to throw in some wisdom because that'll help out with our abilities. If I decide to be a ranger uh, or um, a ranged ranger, I'm going to want to throw some more wisdom in for your extra damage with your wisdom based attacks and DCs. If I'm going to be more close combatant, I'm going to want to aim more for con and dex. So right now I want to get myself 14 con, 12 wisdom, um, buff up my charisma to uh, 12. I'm going to keep my intelligence at 10. Not going to worry about strength at all. Um, I'm either going to use finesse weapons or a bow. So I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, let's go ahead and put my last three points into wisdom. There. Fairly evened out. Alright, so rangers get three ability points. They also get another two for half elf because they don't really get anything special at the start. Um... As you can see, skills and proficiencies. He's a ranger, he gets everything. If I want to go heavy armor, I can go heavy armor. Um, lock picking and search can be used by any class as long as you want to spend the points. So the first tree is going to be the hunter. This is where you're going to find your favorite enemy. As you can tell, you get it for free. Um, since I chose the pirate, I'm probably going to do more humanoid because I'm used to fighting other pirates and taking ships and things like that. I'm going to pull that into my lore. Um, you can choose whatever you want to. If you want to be an undead hunter, go for undead. There's a lot of undead. Always will be. And just like before, plus two to hit and damage. Um, you get to slowly move all the way down to favorite enemy and eventually get to foe slayer. Um, which is great because you can add your wisdom modifier to any damage you deal against those targets Great for later on levels um, Here's your combat focus This is where you're going to get your extra attacks um, Note that it doesn't say melee attacks. This just says Extra attack. So this is where you're going to get I'm assuming by the symbol <laughs> extra um, weapon swings and extra bow shots and it will work for both so you can flip flop around between bows and swords and just do some whirling steel craziness and then flip flop to a bow and start shooting some people in the face and so it's how insane rangers are it's how insane rangers are supposed to be everyone knows who Dritz is and how insane he is with all of it it's yeah so I haven't played in sight since you don't have a hide ability as any other character other than a rogue um, you do have to have some type of hide for rangers because some rangers are going to hide a little bit this is kind of a um, timed hide but this is really really good if you're wanting to snipe things um, you go on a hide in plain sight kind of sneak out into the middle of where the, the action is going to be before anyone else gets there um, you can make yourself faster so you're going to hit something really hard because you're going to get plus five bonus to critical strike range um, your stealth checks can be higher it works just like a just like a hide would be 
and as you can tell because it doesn't have a duration it's basically hide you just get some more bonuses so there's your four hide and plain sights um, ensnaring armor um, this is great if you're wanting to be pure range you can kind of if something hits you before you get a chance to you have a chance in rooting them and getting out so we have Beastmaster, this is where you're going to summon your pet. The pets are fairly strong, they're not super powerful, but they're fairly strong, especially for your level. And as you can tell, you can get them all the way up to level 20 to follow you, uh, follow you around. Um, I'm going to choose the... I'm going to choose them because I like the companion. And, you know, I love having this many ability points, that's why I chose the half-elf. Um, long Strider, this is where you're going to get your extra movement speed if you want to be kind of a... Um, a scout you can use long strider to get your movement speed around or if you want to be one of those um, kind of people who enjoy being evil or a troller or anything like that you want to call it where you want to run out in front of people steal all the goodies before anybody can get there you can do that as a ranger as well learn how to search and lock pick use long strider to run around it's good stuff go for the eyes a lot of people say say go for the eyes boo since uh, as a homage to Baldur's Gate 2 and and Boo and everything, um, this is really good. Helps to blind an opponent. Anything that that blinds an opponent can be great, <clears throat> great against spellcasters. Uh, Special Wolf Strike, some good psychic damage, decent saves, pretty good damage as you can tell since my wisdom is a little bit higher. My other ranger is wisdom's lower, so this doesn't do quite as much. Then we have the bear trap. Uh, Emmy must make a DC 14 deck save. Um, it's really good for um, restraining someone, doing some good damage. I mean, it's a bear trap. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. You just got to make sure you kind of toy with people and make them come to you. Which shouldn't be too hard. Spikes of the Mana Core. Uh, just some good poison, some damage over time. Be wary though, um, using Spikes of the Mana Core, there, can, there are a lot of people who enjoy undead and poison doesn't really affect undead very well or dwager or or um, um, dwarves so yeah so moving on here's the nature tree um, this is where you're gonna have a couple good healing abilities and stuff to make you a decent tank I would say because this is what I use you have good berry you have four ranks of good berry this is a ranged heal although you can use it on yourself there's restoration. You don't get the second potent restoration that the healers and the you know the clerics and paladins get, but it's still good to have an ability to remove some negative effects. There's windwall. Great, great ability. If no one ever uses windwall, it's 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 insane. Whether you're a ranged combatant or you're a um, close combatant, if you're a close combatant, it goes, does some good damage. It saves your party from a lot of that ranged damage that you're going to see a lot of. So it can be a really, really great ability to get, and you can get it fairly early on at level 5. Barkskin, if you are a dual wielding ranger, this is a must. I'm going to say it's a must because I use it as a dual wielding ranger. Gives you some good armor class, makes you much more sur survivable, lowers some of that bludgeoning resistance. It's great against um, undead because most of them are hitting you with their fists or claws. Uh, they're not really doing a lot of slashing, they're mostly doing bludgeoning. And it helps against those lightning using pesky wizards. So it, all, in, all in all, it's a great, really great ability to have. It also unlocks your Cloak of Thorns so that you can um, give yourself a, a, a good um, retribution style armor ability. Which can eventually get pretty good. Um, I also like this because my dual wielders usually use... Um, I'm using rapiers as a dual wielding ability. So, Cloak of Thorns great. I get extra damage. Um, Entangle. Everyone knows what Entangle does. It's just a good way to slow some people down. A lot like Bear Trap. Just keep people from getting too close to you, especially when you're trying to um, shoot them with your bow and arrow. Here's the Warden. You got your Hail of Thorns. You got two levels of that. Decent piercing and damage. Unlocks Conjure Volley, which is great for hordes of bad guys. 
Um, you know, and this says 100 arrows fall on a volley, and it's quite literally a ton of arrows that fall down and do a bunch of damage. Um, lightning arrow, and this is your this is your bread and butter for you archers out there. You will see the archer tree, but this is really good for some more archer ability. You've got your lightning arrow. You're going to get your swift quiver, which is going to increase your attack. Um, bow using rangers can become insane, especially if you give yourself your extra attacks and then you have swift quiver. You start throwing out arrows like they're nothing. Um, not to mention, right now with the way fighting mechanics work, as long as you have a fighter in there and he can kind of keep bad guys on him, you can do insane damage as a uh, ranger. Um, scaling to that, if not more than than a wizard, which is kind of little on little cool, but also a little bit on the sad side. So I have splinter armor, lower an AC is of course always good for for a ranger. You want to make sure that opponent's AC is down, whether you're dueling or not. Here's your two weapon fighting. As you can tell, it was shared with the rogue and the fighter. We have the whirlwind attack and its four abilities. We have Repost, which is great. I use this a lot when I'm in close combat. Then you have the Crimson Edge. <clears throat> great ability to do damage over time. Cage of Chains. Uh, another great uh, ability to slow some people down. As a ranger, if you're using ranged abilities, you want to slow them down the best you can. Here's the Martial Tree. Shared amongst um, Fighter and Rogue and Cleric and Paladin. So almost all the classes currently have uh, the martial tree except for the wizard um, um, I'm probably going to do this as a range ranger so I'm not going to take this victorious surge this time but it is great if you're going to do close combat style um, you have impede as I've talked about before it's great at slowing down opponents wounding blow is great at preventing them from healing and break the wall is great for lowering AC um, good if you're comboing up for a ranger. Flying foe, good to pop in and out of combat if you need to. I, I really, um, my rogue uses this. I enjoy popping into combat with flying foe so I can hit them. Um, and then misty step into another guy, hitting them, and then disengaging to another guy and hitting them. Let's me kind of run around the battlefield. Um, then here's the infamous archery tree. This is the tree you're going to use as a ranger, as an archer. I am obviously going to be using it. Um, you have your hunter's marks. You're going to eventually learn split shot. Great ability. Um, as a as a um, ranged ranger, you can do a lot of damage with the trees that they give you. Arrows of slaying, great stuff. Debilitating shot. I will be taking this as soon as I can at level 2. Great slow. So there we have the abilities. I'll go ahead and finish taking the rest of my stuff real fast. Um, so there we go. So, summary. Obviously, change portraits around. Have, have the four voices. Be whatever I want. Does not matter. And whatever deity I want. Sorry. There you go, guys. There are the classes. Um, I hope you enjoyed the series of classes. Um, I did the races previously. And I'm, my next video is actually going to be finding those secret hidden um, abilities of the dwarf, wood elf, and halfling that we don't know what they do. I'm going to try my best to find those for you. And if I can, I'm going to make a video about it so everybody can at least have that knowledge. So, thanks a lot, guys. And... Have yourself a good one.